Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and it is time for Pokemon. Interestingly enough, I don't know if we've ever played a Pokemon game on this channel. And, you know, Pokemon isn't quite my thing. It came out a little after I would have gotten into it, a little older uh, when it came out. So I never really played Pokemon, uh, but I get it. Uh, and I definitely probably would have gotten into it back in the day. And more than that, Pokemon is 100% one of the most influential game series of all time. I totally recognize that, so... It's actually kind of interesting how we really haven't stumbled upon a Pokemon game until now. It's almost an oversight. And, you know, frankly, I wonder if the original Pokemon is even in the book or if this is it. I'm gonna have to look it up after for my own curiosity. But, yeah, uh, our first foray into Pokemon, I believe, unless I'm totally forgetting an early, you know, maybe in the first year I played Pokemon, I don't remember. Blocked it out. I don't think so, though. Our first foray into Pokemon is Pokemon Ruby slash Sapphire. So Pokemon games did this, where they would release two versions of the same game that would have slightly different monsters that you could collect, that you could link the games up with Game Boy link cables and swap them with your friends and all sorts of cool stuff, battle with your friends. It was basically sort of like the Game Boy equivalent of Pog or Marbles, or Slap Bracelets even. I'm trying to think of the things that people collected when I was on the playground, you know? Like, we played Marbles, we played Pog, Slap Bracelets were in, and you'd have, you know, Marbles, you would compete, and whoever won got to keep the Marbles, you know? So... Uh, Pokemon would have been the next iteration, I believe, had I uh, remained young. Uh, but anyway, um, let's hop in and see what Pokemon has to offer. I am familiar with the general premise, and I've played sort of Poke games that are based on Pokemon. I've just never played the actual Pokemon. So anyway, hi, sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. Fun fact, Pokemon stands for Pocket Monster. I know my Pokemon trivia even, guys. My name is Birch, and everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. This dude looks like he hasn't had a job in 10 years. Uh, this is what we call a Pokemon. This uh, world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon, and we make them cage fight for fun. We humans live aside them, uh, at times as friendly playmates, and at times as cruel taskmasters. Sometimes we band together and battle others like us. Despite our closeness, we don't know everything about the Pokemon. In fact, there are many secrets around the Pokemon. Blah, blah, blah. Now he wants to know my name. Here I am. Are you a boy or girl? Well, that's cool. You can select your uh, gender. Uh, my name... I can, uh, I can select from some pre-selected names. Landon, Terry, Seth, or Tom. I will add my name to the ages. Great J has joined the realm of Pokemon. So it's J then. Yes. Uh, you're J, who's moving to my hometown of Little Root. I get it now. Thanks, Professor. Your very own adventure is about to unfold. Take the courage and leap into the world of Pokemon, where dreams, adventures, and friendship await. I'll be expecting you later. Come see me in my Pokemon lab. Okay. I don't know why that creepy grad student welcomed me to town, but he definitely did. Now I'm in a truck. Traveling, I guess. Or I'm in a house. I don't know. There's a... Like, what is this over here? Okay, let's head outside and see what we got. Ooh, here we go. The world of Pokemon it reminds me a lot of Earthbound, actually. Earthbound is a great game. I have to go back and play in earnest sometime. Jay, we're here, honey. It must be a tiring ride with our things in the moving truck. Wait, did they just transport a kid across state lines in the back of a U-Haul van? Nothing suspect about that. This is Little Root Town. How do you like it? This is our new home. It has a quaint feeling, but it seems to be an easy place to live, don't you think? Get your own room, Jay. Let's go inside. Yeah, I mean, you mean I don't have to sleep in the back of a van? Hot oh, dang. Is that my stepdad over there? That big burly man creature? 
He's got like blood tattoos and gray skin. The movers Pokemon do all the work. So, it's, so they're also a slave race. That's good. Dad bought you a new clock to mark your move here. Don't forget to set it. Oh my god, look at these creatures. Gaio, Gaio, Gaio. Is this what we should be doing? Magical creatures and we're enslaving them. I mean, frankly, it's what we would do. Let's not kid ourselves. If humans ever discovered a magical race of creatures, they would be enslaved overnight. And look, I got a GameCube, though. It's a Nintendo GameCube. A Game Boy Advance is connected to serve as the controller. I wonder if that's an ad. They're like, Psst, you can plug your Game Boy Advance into your GameCube, kid. Better get going. Can I use my computer? Jay booted up the PC. What would you like to do? Uh, I'd like to play a game. Guess I'll check the mailbox. There's no mail here. Turn off. I guess Harvest Moon is another game that this gives me the vibes of. Oh, look at this. You can just literally crawl in your bed. <laughs> Why does my guy have white hair, too, by the way? Uh, go set the clock in your room. Where? Oh, there it is. The clock is stopped. Better set it to start it. Okay. You guys remember analog time? Been a while. Okay, let's set it to the actual time. So, here we go. We are at... Oop. There, that's about right. That's approximately correct. Jay, how do you like your new room? Good, everything's put away. Finished downstairs. Look at my movers are so convenient. You make sure that everything's all there on your desk. Make sure they didn't rob you. Open the notebook. Adventure rule number one. Open the menu at the start. Record your progress is saved. The remaining pages are blank. Well, let's do what it said. Don't turn off the power. Game saved. Oh, the Pokemon movers are gone. Oh, Jay! Jay! Quick! Come quickly! Look, it's Petalburg Gym. Maybe Dad will be on. We brought this report from the front of Petalburg Gym. I think Dad was on, but we missed him. Oh, yes. One of Dad's friends lives in town. Birch is his name. He lives right next door. You should go over and introduce yourself. All right. I am kind of charmed by this little town, then we have to, like, go explore and meet people and stuff. So, I'm down with this. If you go to the tall grass on the sides of the road, well, Pokemon will appear. Cool. Guess you shouldn't have meat in your pocket, or it'll just straight up maim you. What's going on in here? Who are you? Why did you kick in my door? <laughs> Is this a burglary? Oh, you're Jay, the new next-door neighbor. Hi, we have a daughter about the same age as you. Our daughter was excited about making a new friend. Our daughter is upstairs, I think. I'm gonna burst into her room. Give me all your money. Pokemon fully restored. Oh, she's like a healer. Who are you? Why are you in my room? It's like that scene from Back to the Future where Marty comes back to 1985, but it's Biff's 1985, and he goes into somebody's room. And they immediately start screaming and running at him with baseball bats. I would love to see a video game that did that. Where, like, you just walk into somebody's house because you're like, that's what video game heroes do. And they're like, call the cops! <laughs> um, I have a dream of becoming friends with Pokemon over, all over the world. I heard about you from Professor Birch. I'm hoping you'd be nice and we could be friends. That's silly. I've just met you. Eee hee hee. Forget it. I was supposed to go with Dad to catch. See you later. All right. See ya. Like how she just leaves me alone in her room, as if that's totally normal. She also has a Nintendo GameCube. Also, with the Game Boy Advance plugged in as a controller. Go figure. Alright, what else we got going on here? Who's this... Tubalard? If you use a PC, you can store items and Pokémon. Power of Science is staggering. I'll say. All right, Professor Birch, give me a Pokemon. Professor's away on field work. Let me explain what field work is. To study things in the natural environment. Fields, mountains, and civil lab. Blah, 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 blah. He's gone out to hunt for Pokemon. 
He's the type of person who would rather go outside and experience the things around him rather than read a book. Okay. I guess there's nothing else we can do here. Is this a fusion generator? They're powering off of Pokemons. Throw the little guys in here and they uh, light up a light bulb for 20 minutes. Alright, the town of Little Root turns out to be a bus. Let's go find my dad. This is a town of no roads, too, by the way. It's just all grass. Just drive your van through the fields. Uh, someone's shouting down the road there. What should I do? What should we do? Help me! Oh no, a dog is chasing... Is that the professor? You over there, please help! In my bag, it's a Pokeball! Ooh, here we go. This is our first Pokemon decision. Mudfish Pokemon, Mudkip. Chick Pokemon, Torchic. Or Wood Gecko. Okay, well, I don't want the Mudfish. I'm between Chick and Wood Gecko. I want the Chick. Uh, actually, I get to see them, eh? The Wood Gecko. What's the Mudfish look like? Eh. Um, I want the Chick. All right, we have a Pokemon, and we are battling a random dog. Poochina. It's like a pooch versus a hyena. All right, kid. Fight. So, PP of 35 or 40. Torch, you scratch. Tackle. Let's try the other one, growl. Well, that did something to him. Okay, so Growl makes him do less damage. But this is probably a low attack enemy, so there's no need to really do that. Catch him to death! Poke his eyes out! Alright, we killed a dog. I gained some experience. My little chick is on its way to becoming a vicious fighter. Phew! Uh, I was in the tall grass studying wild Pokemon when I was jumped. You saved me. Thanks a lot. Blah, blah, blah. Come to the Poke Lab later, okay? Oh, no, it's later. I've heard so much about you from your father. I've heard that you don't have your Pokemon yet. The way you battled, pulled off with a plum, I guess you have your father's blood in your veins. It's me. I'd like you to have the Pokemon you used. Yeah, I get to keep the little, little dude. While you're at it, why not give it a nickname? Torchlight's nickname is... I don't know, Dude. How about Duder? <laughs> Alright, Duder. You work at Pokemon, gain experience, I think you'll make a darn good trainer. The kid is out on Run 03, studying Pokemon. It might be not be a bad idea. Okay, I'll go see him. Uh, get May to teach you what it means to be a trainer. I don't think I will. Just gonna go out and start getting in Pokemon fights. Gonna go out and pick a fight. Um, alright, so we have a Pokemon. That is good. Hey. Wild Pokemon will jump out at you in the tall grass. If you want to catch Pokemon, you have to go into the tall grass and search. Like this? Oh, here we go. Oh, what is this thing? A Wurmple. Go, Duder! <laughs> I love that. Take him to task, Duder. String shot. What did that do to me? My speed fell. Oh, that was foolish. Use the string shot. Doesn't actually want to attack me, just wants to continue to slow me down. Guess what though, the fight's about to be over. Duder's getting very slow, but he can still scratch ya. Wurmple. Fainted. Yeah, we beat him into a coma. Ain't no thing. Alright. Probably wanna do another fight or two and level my dude my duder up. Oh, it's another dog. Wild Puccina. I wonder if you can get the Puccinas and train them. I mean, I guess the idea with Pokemon is every creature you see, you can, in theory, capture. 
Um, ooh, a critical hit. Destroyed that thing. Woo! Ooh. Hit points up, speed, defense, attack. Let's level up a bit more. I actually do like the grind in some RPGs. Uh, I don't mind sort of playing basic battles and watching your guy get stronger and stronger. It's it's semi-satisfying. Um, I mean, I, I it is satisfying. That's why they uh, have it in video games. That's why it's a thing. Oh, we just ended that guy. I'd like to go up at least one more level before I go and try and get healed. We shall see. Oh, what is this? It's like a raccoon. A zigzagoon. I like how everything is just a normal animal with a crazy name. Like, it's like raccoon is copyrighted or something, so they had to, like, come up with their own weird version of a raccoon. A zigzagoon. So, yes, I've never played Pokemon before. My brother used to play it. Um, fun fact, he actually used to use a Game Boy emulator in, like, the early 2000s, and he would play it on my computer, which really annoyed me, because he would always install all this weird software on my computer, and, like, it would slow it down and have weird files on my computer, but I remember coming down and uh, watching him one time playing Pokemon, and he explained it to me, and, you know, I, I wasn't interested. I didn't play it or anything, but uh, I do remember that. Um, so, yeah, I never played uh, any of the Pokemons, but what I have played is the Rick and Morty Pokemon game. So I think after season one or season two of Rick and Morty, they made a Rick and Morty mobile game. Uh, Pocket Mortys, I think it was called. So you can guess where this is going. You play a Rick in the Citadel of Ricks, and you have a Pocket Morty, and you go out and you battle other Mortys. You find other versions of Morty, which are basically like the different Pokemon with different abilities. You level them up, and... I played the crap out of that game one summer. I not only beat it, but I found like hidden Mortys and like the ultimate Morty and I had everything leveled up to the point where I could basically like one hit any opponent. Um, it was actually really fun. Pocket Mortys. You know what? Honestly, one, t one day I'll play it on the channel for you guys. Um, I think I still have it installed on one of my old phones because I, I think I even bought it. Um, but it's one of those things where hopefully it hasn't been taken off the App Store, because I'm pretty sure I own it. Um, but if it is off the App Store, I'll have to find an APK and download it, the Android package files. Um, because it is... It is just a cool game. I mean, it's basically like this, only Rick and Morty, but... Um... You know, fun. It, it was fun. So. Anyway, let's level my dude up one more level. I think he's not at risk of dying. Zigzagoon, use tackle. Oh, and he missed. Because he sucks. Zigzagoon, use tackle. Once we get one more solid level up, maybe I'll go back and heal, and then I'll try and, uh... You know, do the next part. I'm hanging out just near the edge of the grass because when I'm done, I want to be able to walk out of the grass and not be... If I'm deep in the grass and I try and walk out, I might accidentally get another battle or two. And if I'm so weak, I want to leave. I want to be near the edge of the grass, you know? That's my uh, strategy. You bastard. What is focus energy? Oh, Duder is getting pumped. Okay. That cost me a hit. No! No, no, no! I didn't mean to focus my energy again! Uh-oh, but it failed. Oh, God. Oh, no, I might die. Hold on, bag. Oh, I have nothing. All right. This is it. Do we fight? We fight. There's no way we don't fight. Yes! Critical hit. I would have had six more health if I hadn't screwed that up. All right, we definitely got to go heal. So, I think, who heals in town? Probably these dudes. Let's see. I'll talk to the professor, he'll tell me. Um, you should be on Route 103. If your Pokemon gets tired, get some rest at home. Okay. If your Pokemon get tired, 
You know, when you're feeling really sleepy after you suffered a few contusions to the head and some bludgeoning to your face because you've been forced to battle all day long? If your Pokemon are feeling a little tired like that, just go get some rest. Um, I don't know how to actually go to bed. Oops. What would you like to do? Item storage. You can store Pokemon in the computer, which is kind of interesting. Okay, I literally don't know how to use my own bed. What if I go in the bed and then I, uh, save? There we go. Save over it. I don't think this is actually resting me up. Um, Pokemon. Oh, my little duder. He's heavily injured. I rode that line of leveling up versus... Of grinding versus damage, and I rode it right to the edge. Let's see if that girl's around. Maybe she can help him. She's not around. Okay, we gotta go on the route then, I guess? And not get in random fights. It's gonna be hard for me. We're gonna try it anyway. Just crazy enough to work. Oh wait, what does this say? Route 101, Old Ale. Oh no, how do we go up? Oh, we have to go through- Oh no! <laughs> Wait, can we talk to this kid over here? Can you heal my Pokemon? Wild well, Pokemon will jump out at you in the tall grass. If you want to catch, you have to go into the grass and search. Alright, I think we're gonna get killed here. Let's just see what happens when we die. Oh god. There's like a 75% chance it's all over right now. At least we saved before this fight. Come on, miss your attack! Miss! Oh no! Dude! And then the raccoon just goes nuts all over Jay's face, like biting him and like, brr, brr, brr. And I, like just tearing me to pieces. Jay whited out. <laughs> What's a white out? All right, let's check our Pokemon. Oh, he's healed up now. Okay. Well, I don't know how to heal Pokemon, but I know how to black out from panic after a raccoon attack. So. Same difference, I guess. Like, one more kill, and I definitely would have leveled up Duder. Oh, the raccoon's back for more, eh? Go, Duder! Kill him! He growled at me. See, why couldn't he have done that? That would have given me a shot, at least. I don't know, but then he still would have hit me. It's, like, almost impossible to get through this fight without getting, like, one attack landed on ya. Yay, level eight! Look how strong we're getting. Sort of. Relatively, I guess. I don't know if we're actually really that strong. Pokemon get tired, take them to a Pokemon Center. There's a Pokemon Center in Old Dale Town right close by. Okay, see, that's... I spent all my time grinding in the, the grass. I didn't bother getting to Old Town. Or Old Vale, or whatever the heck we're going. So, first of all... Oh, Zigazoons are female, by the way. I'm just noticing there's a little female icon next to it. Let's find the Pokemon Center so we know where to heal. Um, and then once we know where to heal, we'll come back and we can level up a little bit more. Nothing over that way. Okay. Oh my god, look! There's literally a Pokemon Healing Center right there. We were right here. Okay, I say we level up a bit more. Again, so my strategy in a lot of these RPG games, because I kind of enjoy the grind a little, is to go in and grind hard. And so it's like, I want to be in a level 6 zone and have like a level 8 dude, you know? Like, I want to be like overpowered. Uh, because I guess, I don't know, I guess I crave power fantasy, and I want to feel like my guy is, like, extra powerful and can just, like, one-shot whatever gets in his way. So, yeah, I will totally grind out weaker enemies 
inefficiently in order to level my guy up one or two levels above where he's supposed to be so that I can go into the levels that you're supposed to be playing and can just be overpowered. So we'll get at least one more level here, just killing Zigazoons. Down you go, Zigazoon. Not gonna tackle your way out of this one. I know I'm I'm smart I'm smart now. I don't use any abilities but tackle. There we go. Two more Zigazoons and we're probably good. Or Wormles. Wormple. And so I guess you have to get like a Pokeball in order to capture these creatures. Did you guys ever play that Pokemon mobile game? And or do you still play it? Apparently it's still a thing. I don't know. Um, I don't know if you guys remember, but it, it like the world went literally nuts for Pokemon for like six months. It was some kind of like mobile game where you loaded up a map and like literally Pokemon would appear like in your neighbor's house, in your backyard, like, you know, at the park. And you would have to like wa literally wa physically walk around your town and collect Pokemons. Um, I mean, literally, I, I had it as well. I don't even remember 100% how it worked. And I didn't play it all that much, but I played it briefly, mostly to try it out. Um, because I wanted to know, like, what this Pokemon thing was about, and everyone was doing it. So, you know, I just basically caved to peer pressure. Um, but yeah, I remember everyone did it for, like, a hot second. And people would fight over gyms. Oh, that was the other thing. Like, people would fight to control different gyms. Um... But yeah, and then it's like, obviously it was totally a fad. It like came and went. Um, but I, I've heard like legends, you know, like a friend of a friend of a friend who still actually plays it. And it just made me curious if any of you guys actually remember playing it or played it for like a really long time. Like you hung on past when your friends had given up or maybe you legit still play it. I don't know. Um... Oh yeah. Now we're one-shotting these guys, so they're not worth a ton of experience, but we can get through these fights way faster. Okay, we'll do one more level. We'll end this part being a level 10. Just because I crave that power, that sweet power fantasy, guys. Oh, we're not uh, one-shotting the Zigazoons. Zigagoons. Zigzagoons. I don't even know what they're called. Zigazoons. That's what I'm calling them. 25 experience, four or five more and we got it. And we're getting random encounters really quickly, which is handy. Go, duder! I wonder, like, at a certain point, like, I wonder how high you could climb level-wise by killing, like, these weak enemies. Like, I know it's sort of exponential in that at a certain point, the amount of experience you get is so paltry, there's literally no point in killing these guys. We're um, and we're getting there. Because there's so many that we have to kill in order to level up one level. It's almost not worth our time. But little do the game developers know how little my time's actually worth. Because I could do this. I'm like Captain America. I could do this all day. Oh, we finally took a hit after like four enemies. Purple fainted. Fainted when he looked in the power that was in the eyes of the... Uh, the duder that killed him. I even forget the name of my Pokemon. He's like a Chikaroo or something like that. A Chikazoodle. Yeah. 23 experience. Okay, two more and then I think we got it. I'm just killing worms now. All the raccoons are dead. We've called the whole population. <laughs> Whoop. Good job, buddy. You slowed me down. Now die. Guess you should have used your one opportunity to actually attack me. Rather than set yourself up for an attack that would never come. Alright, this is our last one. We have successfully ground our way through the raccoon population of the region. We are going to be a level 10 Chikaroo. Go! Yes! Level 10. Hit points up, attack up, defense up, attack. 
Wait. Oh, s speed of attacks. No, special attack, special defense, and speed. Okay. Anyway, a lot of a lot of numbers went in the higher direction. That's all you gotta learn. And I learned a new skill called Ember. Machikaru is on the way to becoming Masteru. Hello, and welcome to the Pokemon Center. We restore your tired Pokemon to full health. Yes. I'll take your Pokemon for a few seconds. Is there any charge to this, or is this just a free service? Literally free. Okay, well, that's very convenient. What have we got going on up here? I'm terribly sorry, the Coliseum is under adjustments. Okay. Oh, this is, uh, like Game Boy to Game Boy fight. Fighting or transferring. The record corners in preparation. Alright. See ya. Oh, wait, there was a computer up there. Hold on. What does, what does this thing say? They booted up the PC. Oops, access someone's PC. Move Pokemon. Ah. Oops, didn't mean to do that. See ya. Okay, so you can, like, move Pokemon around through different cartridges, through, you know, different, uh, to, like, to your friends' Game Boys, like, all sorts of things like that. That was a big part of Pokemon, as I recall. Back in the day. As a non-player of Pokemon. Everything I remember, clearly, about Pokemon. Eventually, level up and come stronger. Well, thanks. This is obvious. I work at the Pokemart. Can I get you to come with me? I didn't say yes, he just took me by the hand and led me astray. <laughs> For our blue roof. Ah. Pain the potion. Alright, he gave me some giggle juice. Now I'll go into the mart and see what else you have for sale. A little supermarket here. Welcome! How may I serve you? Um, restores hit points of a Pokemon. Heals a poison Pokemon. Heals a paralyzed. Ugh. Awakens a sleeping Pokemon. Should I be buying this stuff or not? I won't bother with it right now. But I'm sure I'll have to come get some of those potions later. What's going on over here? It's like Zelda. When Pokemon Battle starts, the one at the left of the list goes first. So when you get more Pokemon in your party, try switching around the order. Oh, you can have multiple Pokemon fighting all at once. Ooh, that's interesting. I was literally thinking one of the downsides of Pokemon is that it's like one-on-one -on -one battles, but I guess that's not true. I just discovered footprints of a rare Pokemon. Wait until I finish sketching them, okay? Ah, wait, please don't come in here. I just discovered, okay. All right, fine. The flowers are dancing with the music. Look at that. What a lovely, peaceful, summery scene. Nothing could disturb the serenity that I feel in Old Vale. All right, let's go catch some more Pokemon and shove them into balls. All right, who dares Tango? I want to rename Duder to, like, uh, a more threatening name. Like the gargoyle. Who dares disturb the gargoyle? And his young companion. Zigazoon has fainted. 17 experience. Yeah, see, now the experience of those Zigazoons is, like, practically worthless. Now you want more, eh? Back, back for seconds already. I won't let you get away with it, Zigazoon. What's this kid doing? What up? My Pokemon is staggeringly tired. I should have brought a potion. I'll give you mine. I'm that kind of- I'm, I'm just that nice of a guy. I'm like John Stamos. Turns out helping people is what John Stamos is all about. Um, you probably don't get that reference. A little show called Clone High. Classic show from the early 2000s, up there with Undergrads and Mission Hill. Um, it's okay if you guys don't get it. I, I'm just here making jokes to myself, literally, as it, as it turns out. Um, ooh, what is this thing? 
Let's see. Pokemon found every 103 include... Oh, it's a girl. I thought it was a vampire bat. That's funny. See, my dad gave you a Pokemon gift. Since we're here, let's have a quick battle. I'll give you a taste of what it's like being a trainer. Oh, here we go. Our first real fight. Ah. Oh. Trainer may... Would like to battle. Pokemon trainer sent out. Okay. And get a choice there. It all just sort of happened very suddenly. Um, alright. So I... I'm gonna cast Ember on that guy. Not very effective. Oh yeah, Pokemon use like a rock, paper, scissors kind of mechanic where, um... It's like, uh... Fire is good against earth, and earth is good against water, and water is good against fire. I don't know. There's just sort of there's elements, as I recall. I'll just beat them up the old-fashioned way, though. Because we're level 10s. Yeah! The Mudkip fainted. Dude gained 69 experience! Damn! Want to do it again? I could do it for the experience. They got 300 for winning. Yeah. I think I know why my dad has an eye out for you. I mean, you just got that Pokemon, but already likes you. Um. She just went back to the lab. Anything else that we can do here? Yes, not, hey. Eh? Any Pokemons want to fight me? Oh, there is one. Okay, so when you're training, I guess it's always just sort of one-on-one. -on -one. And then when you get into fights with other trainers, that's when you can, like, have a gang of Pokemon that come in and, uh, you know, can have, like, a brouhaha. Oh, if I kill, like, two more enemies, I think I'm gonna level up again. I'm so close. Okay, let's, let's do it. Let's get a bit more grinding in here. Uh, let's hurry home. Mm. Uh, I'm like, should I heal my Pokemon? I'll heal him. Gotta keep Duder nice and healthy. Alright. Yes. Don't need the dialogue every time. Just heal the damn things. Alright, thanks. See ya. Alright. Anyone wanna fight me? Any weird creatures wanna fight? More worms. Imagine going into your backyard and beating up a bunch of worms and then being like, aha, I am very skilled in combat now. Sort of the equivalent of what's happening here. Any three experience. Oh, we're so close. Come on. There we go. One more worm, why not? Go, Duder! So Pikachu was like the iconic Pokemon, right? Like everyone wanted a Pikachu. He was in all the TV shows and the media, I remember that. I don't think I've ever seen Pikachu in a video game. I mean, besides like Smash Brothers and stuff, but of the little Pokemon video game I've watched, I've never actually seen Pikachu. Like, it, it, it'd be sort of like playing Super Mario Brothers and never seeing Mario. I guess they hide him, because he's too good of a, a Pokemon. You gotta get him later on. Because if they gave him to you right away and he sucked, that would be a huge letdown. Um, I heard you beat May on your first try. That's excellent. may has been helping me with my research for a long time. His extensive history. I ordered this for my research. I think you should have it. It's a Pokédex. Uh, the Pokédex is a high-tech tool that automatically makes a record of any Pokemon you meet or catch. My kid May goes everywhere with it. Whenever my kid catches a po rare Pokemon and records data, it's in the Pokédex. Okay. I was wondering where we could look up stats for the Pokemon we've actually been fighting. I got a Pokeball. Um, it's fun if you get a lot of Pokemon. I'm going to look all over the place because I want a different Pokemon. If I find a cute Pokemon, I'll catch them with Pokeballs. I wonder where you should look for your next Pokemon. I want to go to that rare area. I don't want to catch just any Pokemon. I want the rare ones. Here's my mom. Wait, Jay! 
Jay, Jay, did you introduce yourself to Professor Birch? What an adorable Pokemon you got from Professor Birch. Your father's child, all right. You look good with that Pokemon. Here, honey, if you're going to go out and adventure, wear these running shoes. They'll put a zip in your step. Oh, now I move faster. The shoes come with instructions. Press B while wearing the shoes to run extra fast. Flip on the running shoes and race the great outdoors. Give your own Pokemon now. Your father will be overjoyed. But please be careful. If anything happens, you can come home. Go get him, honey. Okay. Oh, yeah, there we go. Why is he, like, running in short bursts? What am I doing wrong here? That's weird. I'm holding the button. Okay. So... Let's go find a new Pokemon. We want the rare ones, right? We're gonna come up over here. Oh, that guy's done! Alright, rare Pokemon, where are you hiding at? What this guy has to say. If you have Pokemon with you, then you are an official Pokemon trainer. You can say no to my challenge. Oh, you can say no to my challenge. All right, you want to fight, eh? Um, all right. Youngster Calvin sent in a damn raccoon. Level five, though. I'm going to try and ember it. Oh, it almost killed it in one go. Then he growled at me. Guess what? I'm just gonna scratch you in your eyeballs. Wait. 63 experience. That's what we want. I got... I, I took $80 off him. I not only fought him, I took his money too. Our eyes met. I'll take you on with my bug Pokemon. Oh, cool. So we're actually getting into, like, trainer fights now. That's interesting. Bugcatcher Rick would like to battle. Oh, he has two Pokemons. Okay, let's start with a good old Ember. Oh, literally just killed him. It's super effective. Is he gonna throw out his next Pokemon? Yeah, here comes the next one. Wormpole. Do it again, man. Okay, fire is good against the worms. Damn. Hey, you want to fight again? Also, give me all your money. This is a robbery. <laughs> what you thought was a friendly game of Pokemon fighting is actually a bit of a robbery. Hello. I'm not very tall, so I sink right into the tall grass. It goes up to my nose. Woff, 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 woff. Watch you. Okay. Oh. Random encounter. Level 3 Wurmple. I'm not gonna bother using fire on this guy. I'm gonna save the fire for when I'm fighting, like, actual trained, uh, creatures. Oh no, I've been slowed down. If only I could scratch your eyes out. 23 experience. Getting there. Wants to fight me. Did you just become a trainer? We're both beginners. Dude, I ain't no beginner. If by beginner you mean a guy who's gonna crush you and take your lunch money, then yeah, let's fight. Oh, a dog, eh? Burn it down, man. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, you just leveled me up. That's bad for you. What else you got? Oh, a bird. Let's light that thing on fire, too. Damn! My little chickaroo is off the charts. I guess it is like a level 12 creature. Yeah, give me all your money, too. This is a robbery. Um, what is this? There are two Oran berries. Do you want to pick the Oran berries? Yes. Okay. What is this? There are two Pekka Berries. 
yes. Okay. I just took some berries then, I guess. Uh, let's see what else we got going on over here. Oh, let's fight her. What do you got? I'm gonna keep winning and aim to be the best trainer. Help me further my career. Little does she know what look like a friendly match would end in robbery. Last Tiana. I think fires are good against these guys. Let's burn them down. Standard approach. Burn your pet with my flamethrower. 51 experience. Perfect. Another one, eh? Well, if fire was good against one, why not both? Man, we're almost leveled up again. I hope more people pick fights with us. We're getting we're getting all this money. All this experience is great. Oh, Pedalberg. Well, I don't want to go over there yet. I thought there was like a rare Pokemon over here to capture. Like, what is this? They found one potion. Oh, that looked like a Pokemon ball, not a potion. Whatever. Um, is that seriously it? I thought there would be an actual Pokemon. Like, the guy did say there was a rare Pokemon somewhere in here. If we walk through the bush for a second, are we going to find anything rare? Oh, look, it, I've never seen that before. Go, Duder. Oh, we just straight up killed it. 42 experience. I don't know how you're supposed to actually capture Pokemon. I think you throw a Pokeball at them when they're weak or something like that. But we're kind of crushing the Pokemon so easily they don't even stand a chance. Like, I don't even really need to heal. I'll do it just cuz, but I don't really need to. Um, yes, heal my little Pokies. Heal them up good. We don't even take them out of the ball. Keep them jammed in that ball at all times. Um, our duder. Summary. But he's a fire type. He has a timid nature. Hmm. Um, okay, this is what I wanted to check. The heals actually do regenerate your, like, abilities, too. So I can only use Ember 25 times, which seems insane. Like, that's many, many times. I'm sure in the later battles, you actually have to, like, keep track of how many different kinds of attacks you have and stuff like that. But, um, oh, there's a gym over here. Let's see what the mayor has to say. Let's say you have six Pokemon. If you catch another one, it's automatically sent to storage box over on the PC connection. Thanks for the tip, old man. Hello! Well, if it isn't Jay, so you're all finished moving in. I'm surprised that you managed to get here by yourself. Oh, I see you're with your Pokemon. Hmm, I guess you're going to become a Pokemon trainer like me. Oh, this is my dad. That's great news. I'll look forward to it. Um, I'd like to get a Pokemon, please, dad. Hmm, you're, uh, all right. You're Wally, right? I'm going to go stay with my relatives in... Verdant Turf Town. Thought you'd be lonely by myself, so I wanted to take a Pokemon along, but I've never caught a Pokemon before. Hmm, I see. Jay, you heard that, right? Go with Wally and make sure that he safely catches a Pokemon. I'll loan you my Pokemon. Wally received a Zigazoon. Oh wow, a Pokemon. I'll give you a Pokeball too. Go for it. Wally received a Pokeball. Thank you. Jay, would you really come with me? Sure, but I have no idea how to catch a Pokemon. Literally no idea. I guess we're going to figure it out. Uh, Pokemon hide in tall grass like this, don't they? Please watch me. See if you can catch one properly. Whoa! Now right, here it comes. Oh, what is this thing? A Ralts. All right, his Zigazoon. Yeah, I'm not doing this. He is. Ralts used Growl. Zigagoon, Zigzagoon is fighting. Attack. 
Growl. Okay, now what? Zigzagoon, that's enough. Come back. Okay, so when the enemies are in yellow, that's when you can potentially capture them. Ah, there you go. I'm not doing any of this. The computer's just doing it. Blunk. It's sort of like a Ghostbusters trap. It just sucks them right up. Put them in the uh, containment unit back at the firehouse. Ralts was caught. All right. That's how you do it. I like how he thanked me. I didn't do anything. Here's your Pokemon back. Thank you for coming along with me. You two are able to catch my Pokemon. I promise. Take really good care of it. My mom's waiting, so I have to go. Bye, Jay. Dad. Now, Jay, if you want to become a strong trainer, here's my advice. Head for the Rustboro City beyond this town. There you should challenge the gym leader, Roxanne. After her, go on to other Pokemon gyms and defeat their leaders. Collect badges from them. Of course, I'm the gym leader, too. We'll battle one day, Jay. <laughs> one day you get to beat up your dad. That's only after you become stronger. Okay. I guess it gives us a good goal to shoot towards. I mean, this is going to be a longer video, but let's try and get to that other gym and battle the gym owner, and maybe that will be where we cut the video down. Oh, look at that cool reflection. My face is reflected in the water. It's shining, grinning full of hope, or could it be... A look of somber silence, struggling with fear. <laughs> that got weird and dark. That's kind of a cool effect. What do we got going on in here? Uh, I don't care. I don't care enough to talk to these NPCs that are going to tell me nothing. A little farm going on here. Alright, uh, let's go to the store. We have all this money. Let's use it on something. And our goal is to get to that other gym. And you know what? We might lose the fight, but we'll at least try the fight. Uh, oh, Pokeballs are only 200? What is this? I'm a cave or dungeon. X speed. Raises the stat speed during one battle. Hmm. Okay, well, let's get an antidote. Yes. Let's get a Paralyzed Heal. Yes. Just in case these bad things happen, I would like to be able to undo them. And then I guess let's get a Pokeball or two. No, wait. I want a Pokeball. I'll get two. And I guess I'll spend the rest of my money here. Um, okay, that's that's enough. No. See ya! Alright. Let's carry on a little here. See what else we can see. Route 104. You wanna fight me? You're gonna throw a Pokeball. Weaken the wild Pokemon first. It'll be easier to catch if it's been poisoned, burned, or lulled to sleep. Okay. Oh, there's a Pokeball up there. What's down this way? A desert. Okay. I kind of want to go both ways, but we'll start going up this way. I'm like in another town. Wait, what the? It's like a beach community. Huh. The vase looks expensive. Peered inside, but it was empty. And... Come on, there's gotta be something in one of these. Nothing. Okay. I don't want to go on the boat just yet. The berries and stuff. How do I get over there? Legit curious. All right, let's see what's on this beach here. Uh, I'm not a trainer, but that's right. Trainers lock eyes. It's a challenge to battle. Get out of their sight. Are you a trainer? No. Huh. There's a beach going on here. Okay. What's going on here? 
Nothing. All right, whatever. Let's uh, carry up this way. I guess I'll take these random berries. Yes. The only thing I find in this game, like the only complaint I have is that the dialogue sometimes stick around excessively long. Be nice to be able to skip through them a little faster to have fewer dialogues. Like every time you go to heal, you get like, this is a healing place, blah, 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 blah. It's like, just be like here to heal again. You know, like the first time, give me the long message, but in subsequent returns, cut it down to like one quick dialogue. Hey, this is a business douche. Rich boy Winston. He's so rich, he can only afford a raccoon. Oh, can I use a Pokeball to capture his raccoon? That would be the ultimate insult. I don't know if you can, so I don't want to risk it necessarily. There we go. 90 experience. Oh, you leveled me up, bro. Thank you. I will take it. Give me all your money. Jay got 1400. Damn. You want to do it again? There are some things money can't buy. That's Pokemon. You would think that money would be able to buy Pokemon. Why can't it? Trainer tips. Any Pokemon that appear even once in battle is awarded experience points. To raise weak Pokemon, put it in at the top of a team list. As soon as the battle gets started, switch it out. Well, that sounds like a cheese. That's not like how you really are supposed to gain experience. It sounds like cheating. Uh, but I mean, I guess if that's how they want me to do it. Look at this guy, he's crazy. Oh my god! Bug catcher. He's a thousand bugs. Good thing these things die in one hit. There we go. Send me your next one, man. What do you got? And in another Wurmple. I'll burn that one too. <laughs> Actually kind of satisfied to like take this guy to town. You're being tasked, man, by the taskmaster. Master. I mean, it's the bat the combat is so easy at this point, like literally. I could just hold I could get like a wrench to hold down the A button and it's like we'd be set. Victory after victory. Maybe I should stop wasting all the burns. All right, I'll do a normal attack on the next one. Fight this. Oh my god, I don't even need the embers. I'll just do a straight up normal attack and I kill him. He had six Pokemon and they literally died one by one. That is embarrassing, dude. Give me all your money. Forty-eight dollars. Got fourteen hundred from the rich kid. Oh, a pokeball. I've seen the Wurmple in action, and I have no interest in capturing it. Or maybe I do. I don't know. Should I capture one? I mean, we got a Pokeball. All right, bag. Oh, I have seven Pokeballs. All right, gotta catch them all, right? Oink. We got you, Wurmple. Welcome to the party, pal. A Wurmple was caught. All right, using the spikes on its rear end, the Wurmple peels the bark off of trees and feeds on the sap that... What does that have to do with anything? Okay. Uh, I do not want to nickname this thing. Found a paralyzed heal. Well, that's good. No other Pokemons, eh? All right, you want to fight, bro? Hmm. No one to be found. Hello, have you seen Pokemon called Shroomish around here? I really love that Pokemon. I was going to ambush you, but you had to dawdle into Petalburg Woods forever, didn't you? I got sick of waiting here, so here I am. You Devon researcher, hand over those. What is happening? 
You're a Pokemon trainer. Help me. Okay. Team Magna. Let's battle this douche. I kind of want to capture his Pokemons. Team Magma. Alright, Duder. Sand attack. Oh no, my attack missed. Oh no. He's making me highly ineffective. Uh oh, my attack keeps missing. Stop it! <laughs> Stop putting sand in my face. Can I use ember? Oh my god, it missed. He just keeps throwing sand at me. <laughs> Stop it. Okay. Shift. Alright, a weak wormple. Oh my god, this guy. Oh, he threw sand at him too. <laughs> Oh, he got killed. Rumple fainted. Um, alright, Duder. Do it, Duder! Yes! All it took is one hit, bitch. Stupid sand. You're kidding me, you're tough. Jay got $180. Sure, you've got some nerve meddling with Team Magma. Um, blah, 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 they let me go. Phew, that was close. Thanks to you, he didn't rob me of these important papers. I'll give you a great ball as my thanks. They put away the great ball in the ball's pocket. All right, so Team Magma's bad. Off he ran. What we got going on here? What kind of wild Pokemon are in these parts? I guess we should try to capture a Raccoon, but I think I just one-shot them. So the, the downside of being uber-powerful... Oh, there we go! Is, I was gonna say is that you can't capture anything, but... Um, we can totally capture this guy. Bag... Pokeball... You're coming with me, Raccoon Boy! Gotcha. We should probably start trying to level up our uh, different Pokemons. Ew. Only the Chikaru guy gets a nickname. Okay. Switch with my hands. Okay. And bag. What do these things do? Hold an item that heals poisoning. Huh. Heals 10 hit points, eh? There we go. Zigazoon's hit points were restored. I want to try and, like, level up my Zigazoon here. Yo there! Your Pokemon doing okay? Is your Pokemon weak? You want to avoid battles? You just stay out of the tall grass. Don't tell me how to live my life, bro. I'm here to fight. If you take bug Pokemon to school, you get to be instantly popular. Is that so, eh? The Pastor James sent in a Ninkata. Okay. Tackle it! Scratch. Oh god, he just died instantly. Does he still get experience for that? I was gonna switch him out, but... Go, Duder! Alright, burn this mofo. Oh, one hit! <laughs> Alright, Duder gained 111 experience. I'm pretty sure my other Pokémon are just dying before they get any experience. It's kind of annoying. I can't be popular if I lose. Found ether. Give me ether and a rag. And I'll take out Team Magma. Drug him in the back of a van style. What's this? A shroomish. 
One guy said he liked these Pokemon, so we'll try and capture it, I guess. Oh, he tried to absorb from me. A uh, bag. Where are we here? Pokeballs. Yeah! We've got like four Pokemon on this little expedition here. Shroomish was caught. Alright. Pokemon feeds on compost is made up of fallen rotted leaves. Gross. Ew. Yeah, what is this? He looks like he can be cut down. Interesting. 104. Alright, where are we now? Like filling my mouth with seeds and spitting them out fast. You can have this so you can try it out. Use it on Pokemon and it will learn to move the firing. Did he give me like a straw or something? That he s he likes to put seeds in his mouth then spit them out fast. Kind of disgusting. Like I don't know what that means. What seeds? Who are you spitting them at? It just sounds like a disgusting- it's, it sounds like tobacco. Like a gross kind of like chewing tobacco style habit. Um, hello! This is the Pretty Petal Flower Shop, spreading flowers throughout the world. Your name is Jay. That's a nice name. Jay, would you like to learn about berries? Hell no! Flowers bring so much happiness to people, don't they? Shut up and heal my Pokemons. I'm gonna say nobody asked you, but I guess I kind of walked up to her and directly asked her, so somebody did. Anything cool back here? Ooh, an item. They found a potion. Cool. All right. No Pokemon dare fight me in the tall grass anymore because they know what happens. I wonder if this game borrowed any game assets from Legend of Zelda, because it's very similar. Hello. Should I or shouldn't I? Okay, I will battle. Oh, alright. Let's do it. Tint out the toad. Oh, it's scratchy to death. Use Astonish. Wait, can I? I, I want to know. Can I use this? They used the Pokeball. Oh, okay. The trainer blocked the ball. Don't be a thief. Okay, you're not allowed to actually capture. I just, I wondered if you could be a dick like that. But I just threw some money away. She blocked my balls. A bit of a cock blocked that one. Dude regained 100 level experience. Will Jay change Pokemon? Yes. Shroomish needs experience. Go Shroomish! Shroomish versus Shroomish! And now we're instantly gonna switch, because every time I don't switch right away, my guy dies. Go Duder! Stun Spore. I just burn him to the ground. Fight bores me. <laughs> oh, Shroomish fainted. Duder gained 48 experience. Shroomish gained 4. Oh, there we go. That's how you do it. I shouldn't have battled. Jay got 112 for winning. Okay, so literally, we just want to order this so one dude comes out first. And then after... He literally doesn't even have to throw a punch. I thought he at least had to, like, make a token effort at fighting, but I guess not. We are twins, so we battle Pokemon together. Good. Let's do it. Alright. Twins Gina sent out load. And seated. Oh, two at a time. Oh, no. Okay. I can absorb, I don't know, this guy, and Duder, I'm gonna Ember this guy. The 
toad was burned. Not very effective, okay. Drained a bit of energy. But oh, used Harden, interesting. All right. We growled at both of us. All right, fight, tackle, Latoad, Duder. Gonna ember this guy. Oh, we just one-shotted him. So much for your hardened defense shell. Yeah. Oh, he's so close to dying. Oh, he astonished me. He just got hurt by his burn. Sweet. Pretty sure Shroomish leveled up at least once there. Only one level up, eh? They are defeated the twins. We battled together, but we both lost. We're both losers. Just a couple of genetically identical losers. Alright, who's this this guy? You wanna fight? Why keep it a secret? I'm the water Pokemon expert. You don't know me? Nope. I have a feeling. You want to show off. Oh my god. Fisherman Ivan sent out this thing. Okay, instantly. Just switch from a main guy. Come on back. That's enough. You looked at the enemy. Splash. Nothing happens. Fight. Scratch. <laughs> One-shotted. A critical hit. I guess we should keep throwing out Shroomish and then switching it. It just sort of seems kind of tedious to do this. Like, I, I know... It's weird, also, it's like a little bit of a cheat. Because it's not like Shroomish is actually doing anything, but he gets experience because he's the first one out. But if he had just been standing in the background, he wouldn't have got anything, so it's like... It, it's weird, right? Like, I get that it's just a mechanic, so whatever. It doesn't have to make too much sense. But yeah, it's uh, kind of uh, an amusing mechanic. It's like he's getting experience on a technicality. Well, J change, yes. I mean, they have to have some way for you to juggle experience among your various Pokemons. So it's not, not just like some main one that's constantly leveling up and the others get nothing. Come on back, Shroomish, you've done your part! It's time for the Chikaroo to finish him off. These fish have literally done absolutely nothing. It's like everything the fish does, it's ineffective. But nothing happened. This is like free money. Alright, we both gained some experience. We defeated the fisherman. I thought I wasn't too bad, if I may say so, but I guess not. Bleh. Yeah, dude, you suck. You suck at this. Oh, the water effects are actually pretty cool. Hmm. There's an old lady over there. I wonder if she can fight us with her Pokemons. I have Pokemons from... I was gonna say some old era, but, uh... Can't think of it. From the, uh, Eisenhower era. What's that guy that everyone loved? FDR. Is that it? If you see berries growing in loamy soil, feel free to take them. But make sure you plant a berry in the same spot. That's common courtesy. Here, I'll share this with you. Obtain the Chesto berry. Eh. I'm honestly too lazy to plant anything. Frankly, lady, this little Let's Play is not long for this world, so I'm, I'm... can't be bothered. Water effect, though. Quite cool. Anyway, um... Okay, we want to go up this way. Which, where did we come from, by the way? I think we came from the bridge. 
Hey, we made it to the city. Hey, look at this. Industrialization. This ain't the, uh, the sticks anymore. Let's buy a Pokeball, because we totally lost... We totally lost one by trying to steal somebody else's Pokemon. Let's repel. Those weak wild Pokemon for 100 steps. Eh. Oh god, no. No. Okay, we gotta find a hospital to heal up my Poke dudes. And let's see. They're all buildings and houses. What does this sign say? Pokemon Training School. We'll teach you anything about the Pokemon. Oh, really? It's like a literal classroom. Um, hello? What's happening? Students who don't study get a little taste of my quick claw. Whether you're a good student, evident the way you use this item. Obtain the quick claw. What the hell's that? Okay. I, I don't know what he gave me. He, like, gave me a knife. He's like, here you go, kid. Go start a gang war on the streets. Ah, here we go. Heal my Pokemons. They are tired, in quotation marks. I didn't beat them into a coma. Somebody else did. I swear. Don't call the Humane Society. Alright, what is this? Cutter's house. I want to find the gym. Actually, hold on. I kind of want to train a, just a tiny bit. I wouldn't mind leveling up my level 5 dudes just a little bit. Anywhere nearby to train them in the grass? Um, let's see. Oh, geez, we have to go far away. Far away. Okay, forget it. Oh wait, there's grass over here. All right. Let's see here. Go, Shroomish! You've done your parts, Shroomish. Let Whirlpool have a shot. Go, go, Whirlpool magic. Wurmple, you've done your bit! <laughs> Time for Raccoonazoon to do his! Go, go, Raccoonazoon! Nice job, Raccoonazoon! Time for you to come back! You've taken your licks! It's time for Duder to finish the job! Well done, team! <laughs> Let's see if everybody gets experience from this. And kill him. Oh, he didn't one-shot him. Eh, whatever. Oh my god, he's still alive. Took six hits because the other stupid Pokemon got in the way. Alright. Ten experience. We leveled up. 10 experience, 10 experience, 10 experience. That's how you do it, I guess. Um, it's, it's gonna be way too tedious to level everyone up, so I'm just gonna go and heal everyone up and find that gym and we'll see what's what. But yeah, I think cycling people, if I could find a battle against another Pokemon trainer who had good Pokemon, like, one, you want one strong opponent. You don't want a bunch of little worms that they throw at you, but one big opponent, you cycle through like that, and then you kill it, and then it's like everybody... You're, like, quadrupling the amount of experience you earn. That's the secret. That's the secret, guys. That's how you power level your Pokemons. We gotta go find a trainer to fight against. Thank you. See ya. Maybe at the gym there's like endless trainers. That would be kind of cool. Um, all right, I'm just assuming the gym. Oh, there it is. I'm excited. Let's do this. Hey, it's this guy. 
Yo, how's it going? Listen, my friend, would you like to become the champion? I'm no trainer, not me, but I can sure give you winning advice. That's settled then. We'll aim for the Pokemon Championship together. It's your job as a trainer to collect gym badges. But gym leaders aren't pushovers, and that's where I come in. I'm here to provide expert advice. Roxanne, the gym leader, is a user of rock-type Pokemon. Rock is very durable, but can't stand up to water-type and grass-type moves. Come see me afterwards if you beat the gym leader. Okay, water and grass type. Don't take us gym trainers lightly. I'll show you why we're better. Yes! Alright, time to power level some pokies. Oh, he's got three, though. Benton Geo Dude. A level 10! Damn, son! Okay. We're gonna cycle our weak Pokemon in and out. The only problem is if he actually attacks and he kills Wurmple in one hit, then Wurmple gets no experience. Oh, God. Okay. Now we want to... Oops. Pokemon. Bring him a Zigazoon. Come on back, Wurmple. Zigzagoon, your turn! Okay, switch him out. Time for the Duder to take him to task. Go, go, Duder! Oof. That was a critical hit. Maybe I'm gonna have to really, uh, level up my, uh... Um... My Shroomish. Come on back! Go, Shroomish! Oh, good, it missed. Okay. Fight. Absorb. But Stun Spore. Oh, come on! Oh, he's sleeping. Grimish's effect spore made... Ooh, he's sleeping, eh? Fight. I'll just tackle him. Jeez. Fast asleep. Um, okay, I definitely need a water Pokemon of some kind. Um, yeah. All right, Duder. If I can kill one of these guys, it's gonna be... An achievement. Damn, I mean... It's the most effective thing we got going for us. Not very effective, but it's... Oh no, he woke up! Jackal me! Kill him! Damn! Oh, I think we got him! Damn! That was only worth 45 experience. I guess it got multiplied like four times. Zigazoon also gained experience. <sighs> Shroomish? Go Shroomish! Another one of these guys. Okay, Stun Spore. Your dude is paralyzed, maybe unable to move. Uh, how about absorb? Oh my god! Damn! Okay, hold on, let's give everyone a chance here. Oh, they're gonna die, aren't they? Come on, Buck! Oh, don't kill him! Oh, God. Alright, let's see if Zigazoon can get some experience in here. I should have waited until we killed this guy and had put Zigazoon up first. He's gonna die. Oh, my God! He did not. Okay. 
I'm gonna bring in Duder. So he's gonna take a hit when he comes in. He'll finish the guy off. It's okay. <sighs> Damn, these things are tough. Alright, we killed him. Man, you have to actually- so, all of a sudden this game is skyrocketed in terms of strategy. Quite interesting, actually. Okay, Wurmple's leveling up. Zigazoon's leveling up. This is great. Okay, we... are changing our Pokémon. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put a super weak Pokémon up first. So that we can basically just shift him away the second... The battle begins. The Geodude. Okay, I'm gonna switch... ...to... ...Duder. I think actually the, um... ...Scumbag, whatever his name is, Shroomish. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Um, he'll be able to, uh, just finish this guy off. There we go. And we unfortunately can't put the worm in, because as soon as we do, he's gonna get hit and killed. Tackle. It's okay. We're gonna use Absorb. Give your powers. Oh, we, like, one-shot at him! And heal- man, Geodude is actually- or whatever my guy is, Shroomish, is actually kind of cool. Oh yeah, level 9. Duder gained experience, Zigazoon. Yeah! Well, that was actually the first fight where I thought we might actually lose. Okay, hold on. We definitely have to go heal after that. That's a crazy fight. This is- I know this is like an hour and a half video. Nobody's gonna watch all this. If you're still watching, frankly. Uh, thanks for sticking around, but... Um... I'm actually, like, getting into this, so I do want to, like, finish off this gym. So it'll be a long video. We have those occasionally. Whatever. All 30 of my viewers will appreciate it. Oh god, no. I accidentally clicked the button again and she gave me this big long spiel. This is what I mean about the dialogue sometimes are taking- are a little... too verbose. Alright. Okay, so... We need to figure out the correct order of our Pokémon. So we actually don't want Shroomish to go first. We want, uh... We want Wurmple first, so he can get some sweet experience. What up, buddy? You haven't seen anything of the rock types, these terrifying powers, blah blah blah. Hey, you can go here if you don't want to fight them, actually. But we do want to fight them, because we want that sweet experience. If you can't beat me, you won't stand a chance against Roxanne. Guess what, I can't beat you. Do your worst, bro. Ge a single? We just beat three in a row. These attacks are bug and poison based. So we are going to, oops, shift with my Zigazoon. Mobile, you've done your part. It's time for Zigazoon. Zigazoon, attack! Cheodoodle, tackled you. Zigazoon, you've done your share. Time to get out of there. Shift with the Duder. Duder, get in there! Duder, go! Geodude used a rock throw! Duder, you can't do much more good there! You've done your part! Time to switch to the Shroomish! Everybody go and take one hit. That's how you get experience in this world. Oh, we rock threw, eh? Well, too bad I can absorb your li- I can literally steal your soul Shang Tsung style. Boop. I like gained all the health. He knocked off me. Boop. Boop. Super effective. You do to had its energy drained. Yeah. 
49. I don't want to level up my uh, Shroomish some more. But like, there's nowhere around here to grind. Okay, I'm just gonna go heal one more time so that we're full health when we fight Roxanne or whatever. I think we got this. I think Shroomish is our our key. Our key to victory. I, you know what? I was down on the guy. He looked like a stupid Pokemon. So glad in retrospect that I caught him. Because I don't have any water-based Pokemons. But he's super effective against those Geodude things. Alright, hope to see you again. You will. I haven't looked at what kind of attack the raccoon does, but I'm pretty sure it's not, uh... Over here. I'm pretty sure it's not the kind that will help me against rocks. What is this? Hello, and welcome to the Devon Corporation. We're proud producers of items, medicines, and that enhance your life. Huh. Hello? I'm sorry, only authorized people are allowed to enter here. Well, thanks for nothing. Now let's go take over this gym and then we'll see what's what. Now the question is, should I not mess around? No, I'm gonna mess around. I was gonna say, should I have, you know, my uh, Shroomish be my number one dude? Team gym leader, so I may apply what I learned to the Pokemon. Trainer school and battle. We like to kind of demonstrate how you battle and with which Pokemon. Boy, she's much more courteous than I thought. I thought she'd be this, like, evil opponent. She's, like, very friendly. Sent out a G A level 14! Wurmple! Get out of there! It's a trap! Zigazoo, no! You won't be able to stand up to him! Zigazoo, get out of there! Oh, God! Oh, he killed him! <laughs> you killed my raccoon, you bastard! He was my best friend. No, Duder, don't do it. Don't be a hero. Um, I'm just gonna switch back into Shroomish. Shroomish, you got this, buddy. Rock throw. Oh, Rock Tomb. Oh God. Shroomish speed fell. Okay, you gotta absorb. Your life depends on it, buddy! Oh god, we're dead. We're so dead. Um... We didn't even kill one guy. Go, Duder! Run! Oh, there's no running! Alright, just finish me off quickly so I can come back and try this again. Rock Tomb. Jesus. I kind of want to get a Geo dude. They seem like beasts. If you don't correctly have the exact thing to counter them, they seem unstoppable. All right, everybody's dying. Don't pay any attention to this, folks. All part of my long-term plan to eventually win somehow. All right, Wurmple, poison him. You got this. Oh, Wurmple. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> Didn't even get his attack off. Wurple fainted. Okay. I white and I whited out. What does that mean? Why why don't they say you blacked out? Why do you have to white out? Odd. Alright, let's uh give this another shot. So our Pokemon. See, the thing is, I don't even know if a level 9 Shroomish is high enough level to beat this girl. But we'll give it a shot. If not, we're gonna go level up a little bit and then we'll come back and kick her butt. Alright, let's do this, lady. The only Pokemon that matters in this battle is Shroomish, because we literally can't change to any other Pokemon. It's just not possible. Oh no! Why are you the first Pokemon? Ah shit, I think we just lost this battle again. Rock throw. Oh, there we go. We might be able to live long enough. Super effective. 
Rock throw. Oh, God. Ah! Okay, we just lost the fight. There's, like, literally no point in, uh... I wish you could run. I wish you could just surrender. Wish there was, like, a pass out option. Yeah, we're just dead. Man. That little rock is, like, quite terrifying, actually. Alright, raccoon. Do what you can do, man. Do it, Zigazoon. Oh, God. Wink. What did that do? His defense. Oh, that's great. Rock tomb. Literally kills him. Alright. Well, duder, it's all down to you, buddy. I thought I overleveled my dudes and I was, like, gonna run in and just destroy everything, but not so much. Oh, the fire's not too bad. His defense rose. If I could kill one of these guys, that'd be something. Oh, he's a potion? That's cheating! Burn you down! Rock tomb. Oh, Jesus. That's a lot of damage. Alright, so clearly we're gonna have to go and uh, grind up our, uh, our shroom. Oh, we're so close to killing him, too. But we're dead. Alright, that's okay. It's all part of how Pokemon goes. Sometimes you win, sometimes you're weak and feeble. Well, let's go find some- oh, and let's change the order of our Pokemons. We want Shroomish to level up. Oops. Ugh, don't want to do that. Switch. There we go. Shroomish is our primary Pokemon for the next foreseeable little bit here. Let's go find some wild Pokemon to fight. Maybe we could find, like, a water one that we could capture. It'd be nice to have more than one Pokemon that could fight the rock creatures. That would be nice, I think. Okay, let's go exploring over here. All right. Ooh, what is this guy? A Wishmer. Go, Shroomish! All right. And we'll switch into my Duder. And then the Duder can, like, one-shot him. Uproar. Okay, scratch him to death. Um... I could capture him, but forget it. I only want to capture ones that clearly look earth or water based. And what is this? A repel. Okay, what's this guy doing? Oh, he wants to fight. He wants to fight with bugs. Um, okay. So because he has a bunch of bugs, I'm just gonna let, uh... Uh, the shroomish do his thing. Oh no! He's not very effective against him. Poison sting. No! We got poisoned! Oh no. Oh god. Okay. Get out here, duder! I didn't know those worms could even do that. String shot. Thanks for that. Scratch him good. So I think there's a way to like upgrade your Pokemon eventually, right? Like you can make them stronger. Okay. Yes. I want to switch back to this guy. Shroomish! We call him Scumbag. Well, what the hell is that thing? 
Okay, and then we switch him back with Duder. And Duder does the heavy lifting. So I think we gotta get Shroomish at least up to like level 13. If he's gonna stand any chance to the the gym lady. Pardon, eh? How about this? You hardened against fire? Nope. Alright, 60 experience that time. Alright, Shroomish at level 10. We're getting there. I will change back to Shroomish. <laughs> I like how Shroomish is poisoned. It says PSN. It just makes me think of the PlayStation Network. Shroomish has a subscription to PSN. Oh, that stupid poison. I just, I don't have time to take it off him. I'll have to take it off out of combat. Alright, you dare scratch me, I scratch you to death. Oh, you bastard. But it's not effective. How about burn ya? I think that's like my high attack attack for my, uh, my little dude here. All right, we did it. 128 bones. Uh, bag. Let's see. Feels poison. Use it. And him. And let's see. Stores 10 hit points. There we do. There we go. There we do it. There we go. Fully healed. He ate some berries. He's fine. Yeah, let's kill this girl. Let me teach you how strong my adorable Pokemon is. I'd like to see you try. Meryl. All right. Bring up the heavy hitter. All right, Shroomish, you've done your part. Defense curl. Let's one shot it. Let's burn it up in a fiery mound of death. Oh, is this a water based Pokemon? Interesting. Well, I think my attack is just normal, so. Just beat him down the old fashioned way. like no damage to me. Oh no, water gun! That's probably super effective against me. Ugh. Not enough still. Tackle. Ah, oh, missed. Yeah, bitch. 61 experience. How you do it. Yeah, I actually do need to heal up my, uh... My Chikaroo. Oops. Use it on Duder. I'll use one more. On Duder. There we go. That's enough. Now, which way do we want to go? Like this guy. Oh! Random Zigazoon. Suck his life out. Hmm. Not really that effective, actually. What is Leech Seed? Use Leech Seed. Zigazoon was seeded. So you can apply Leech Seed at the beginning, and then it's like you're just constantly draining health out of the enemies. This could be very effective against those rock creatures. 
Ah, and every turn you're just sucking a little life out of them. I like it. What stuns for? Stun spore. Oh, I missed. I, I want to experiment and try all these different things. So I think if you can use leech seed and stun the enemy, like... I think if I can get my shroomish maybe to level 11 or 12, we could actually give this another shot. He's paralyzed. So he can't move at that point. My health is kind of, Oh, I just killed him by draining his life. Do you want experience? Yes! Okay, let's at least get to level 12. Hey, you want to fight, buddy? He's like, hey, I saw you! You can't sneak by me! I'm like, dude, I literally want to fight you. Youngster Joey. Alright, so first we leech seed. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, he was seeded. And he growls at me. And then from this point on, I think all I would need to do is um, just use my absorb attacks. I'm like practicing for what I will do against the rock creatures. Well, he fell asleep somehow. Dreamish effects for made. Oh, interesting. So, the Shroomish's abilities are mainly like constant regenerative effects, and if you could stack them against creatures that are vulnerable to it, I think you could like come out well ahead, where like they literally can't damage you. You're just sucking their life constantly. Oh, that's so cool. Alright, Shroomish, I see your value now. He ended the- he ended the- the battle at full health. Um... Oh, there's another... There's another creature. A matchup. Well, let's seed him, too. Blub, blub, blub. He was seeded! Oh, he kicked me. Dick. Ah, but it doesn't matter because I regenerated, see? There we go. Energy drained. Maybe I will swap out, uh... ...with, uh, my duder. I guess I should swap with the other characters too, but I'm kind of over them. Whoa, what happened? Oh, he's getting pumped up. Yeah, because like if the the last thing we're going to do... Oh, the seeds work even on other characters. Whoa, that's kind of cool. If the last thing we're going to do is try and take over this gym, I don't really need... Uh, I don't really need the raccoon or the... Uh, uh, worm to be leveled up. It's really... We need to find a water-based Pokemon. That's really what we need. Like, that would be nice if we could. Are there any even in these grasses? No, there's just these stupid... Wishmers. I guess maybe if this thing gets down to yellow... I'll, uh... Uproar. Maybe I'll capture this thing? I don't know. What's the point? We're like an inch away from being a level 12, and then I want to go try and, fi uh, try and fight those rock monsters again, so. Alright, Duder, come finish this punk off. Get out there, Duder! Oh, Duder's about to hit level 16 as well. Bonk. Remish at level 12. That's good. 
Scooter level 16. A duder can't learn more than four moves. Delete a move to make room for Peck. Oh. Peck is a flying move. Okay. Attacks the foe with a jabbing beak. Oh, that's cool. Okay, what don't we use? Focuses power to raise the critical hit ratio. Growls cutely to reduce the foe's attack. Scratches the foe. Okay, I want the normal basic attack. Or do I? Is that unnecessary? Power 35, power 40. What's a 40 power attack? I'll get rid of uh, Growl, I guess. Or Focus Energy. Uh, whatever, I never use it. One, two, and poof. Duder forgot Focus Energy. And Duder learned Peck. That's kind of cool. What? Duder is evolving! Whoa! He's evolving! We did it! Oh my god! He's turning into a mega chicken! Or something. Whoa! Duder! Congratulations, dude. Duder evolved into a combo skin. Duder is trying to learn double kick, but Duder can't learn more than four moves. Delete a move. Yes! What is double kick? Hmm. Well, we're not gonna use growl. Strikes the foe twice. Damn, son. Maybe Duder will have a chance against uh, this rock monster thing. Um. All right. Well, I think we've done everything we can in order to prepare. We got an upgraded duder. We got a uh, scumbag who's all leveled up and ready to fight. What is going on over here? Random little area. Oh, there's a thing over there. I mean, we might as well go get that thing. Uh, but yeah, I think we're I think we're ready to try the gym again. And I guess here's the thing. Oh, a super potion. If we, if we really can't beat the uh, enemy at the gym, then we'll just, we'll call it, because this video is getting quite long, but really want to try and beat that, that gym owner. I mean, if I were playing this solo, not recording a video, I might try and level up a little further before I went back, but, I mean, again, A, the video's long, B, I want to give you guys a show, so if I can beat the opponent when I have only a level 12, Mushroom guy, that seems more fun. Although we do have a level 16 chicken guy. He's our ace up our sleeve. I really wish I had picked the water-based Pokemon at the beginning, though. I feel like this fight for this gym would be way easier. Although probably at some point we're going to need a fire-based Pokemon, then I'll be ahead of the game. So we're suffering now so that later on we can uh, dominate. At least that's what I'm telling myself. Alright, take taking bets now. Can we do it? We're gonna start by seeding the ground, and then we're gonna go from there. Let's do it, Roxanne. She's so polite, I feel bad fighting against her, but somebody's got to teach this bitch a lesson. <laughs> go Shroomish! Begin with seeding. There we go. You're part of the Earth now, Geodude. Yeah, you like throwing rocks, eh? Well, I like sucking the life out of your eyeballs. Okay, now we absorb. Get back up to 39, come on! Oh, 38, oh my god, so his entire first turn, he basically did almost nothing to me. Hmm, that hurts though. My speed fell. Uh, but I healed. Alright. At least she used a potion. That's okay. I'm a little slow on the go. I'm sucking all your life out of you. Yes. Oh, we are 
Oh, he's almost dying. You can't heal out of this one. Oh, we almost have full health, too. It's a shame we just never quite got there. Oh, she's wasting her time with potions. All right. You're done. Can't heal your way out of this one, Geodude. Geodude had his I really wanted Geodude. Just the name is awesome. I would have named him the Geodude if I could have named him. Oh, 258 experience. Too bad that I didn't get to be shared with anyone because, you know. Will Jay change? No. The bad the risk of the battle is too <laughs> intense. What the hell is this thing? Okay, we're gonna leech seed it and hope it doesn't kill us. His defense rose. But we seed him with leeches. Yeah, suck that life out of him. Alright, now we absorb his life energy. Oof. Give me your life! Oh, we didn't do too much damage. Oh, no! Oh. Okay. Keep sucking his life out. <sighs> He's damaging us. Can we stay in the 30s? Get up there. Suck more life out of him. 28. It's pretty good. Once she starts using heal potions, we'll, uh... We'll be able to catch back up in terms of health. Yes. Oh, we got this. We got this. Easy. Oh, he's still trying to attack us, eh? No more health potions left, I guess. Yes! Actually, could have changed to the chicken so he could have got some experience too, but it's kind of too late now. 300 and. I wish I'd switched to some other characters. Oh my god, he almost leveled up to 14. We defeated her! So I. lost? It seems that I still have much more to learn. I understand. The Pokemon League's rules state that trainers are to be given this if they defeat a gym leader. Please accept the official Pokemon League stone badge. 1500 in cash. Empty your. Empty the drawer. Empty that cash register right now. They received the stone badge from Roxanne. Woo, we did it, guys! We did it. Heighten the attack power of your Pokemon. Also enables them to use the HM move cut outside of battle. Please take this with you. Oh, TM. Oh, the HM cut. That means I can start to cut down trees by dropping rocks at lower speed. If you use a TM, instantly teaches a move to a Pokemon. Remember, a TM can only be used once, so think before you use it. Wow. My guy's strutting now. Oh wait, this guy wanted to talk to us if we won. What a breathtaking victory! My cheering must have helped. Uh, check your trainer card. Stone badge you got should be properly recorded. In other words, you've climbed the first step when the stairs to championship. It's gotta feel awesome. That it does, my porky little friend. That it does. Get out of the way! What's happening here? Don't take my goods! Oh, a burglary. We're gonna go the other way because I just want to see if you can actually cut down the trees now. I'm pretty sure that's what she was getting at. Um, anyway, this has been Pokemon Ruby slash Sapphire. I think as you can tell from the length of this video, I enjoyed myself here today. Um, I never played Pokemon back in the day when I was growing up. It was just a little after my time, but I 100% see the appeal. I, I totally get it. Um, so can we use the thing? Looks like it can be cut down. Hmm. I don't know. I think there's a way to cut the tree down, but who knows. Um, guys, this, this, Pokemon is, is a, a fun game, is a fun game. And this game here, although it's on the Game Boy Advance, from what I have read, is very similar to the original Game Boy release. If you like these sort of RPG games where you have to build up skills, and there's a lot of tactics and decisions and choices and stuff, Pokemon's a great series to get into. I, I fully support it. Um, you know, whether you're old or young, I think if you, like me, get a little addicted to these sort of stats-based RPG games, 
probably you would enjoy some Pokemon. So, hey, those are my thoughts on it. What do you guys think of po Pokemon? Po Pokemon? What, what would you guys think of Pokemon by Red and Sapphire here? <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below. Did you play this back in the day? Do you have tips and tricks? Let me know. Uh, and whatever the case may be, I hope you enjoyed yourselves here today. I certainly did. Guys, it's been fun. I will catch you in the next one. I gotta go take a rest because uh, I've Pokemoned myself out for the day. So until next time, my friends, you take care of yourselves. And peace.